we'll go straight in. The last person will get a mind probe. Give out the stun rods. Okay. Anyone on the ground yet? No. Tanks first. Wait, shit, where's the other group? Ooh, they spawned apart from each other. I don't like it when that happens. It's hard to reinforce the respective groups. Oof. That is not great. This looks like the control center. Uh, so we'll send more people in that direction, I think. And everyone else can just sort of play passive while we deal with that. Need to try and remember who has my mind probe as well. So mind probe you basically just when you use it you use it on an alien or a target in general but i mean you already know about your own guys so why would you use it on your own guys um and it just gives information about the target so like it'll tell you their rank if they're an alien it'll tell you their name if they're human And it'll tell you, basically it just gives you this screen, like the stat screen that you get normally, it just gives you that. So, if you're trying to find an alien commander, it's very helpful to have that information. Because if you use it, it'll show you right here, alien commander. And one place you guys didn't really see the last time we were in a base is... Wait... What is this? Okay, yeah, it is what I thought. Uh, so, so they have these weird sort of garden areas within their base. It's filled with weird alien plants. It's it's pretty weird. It never really explains what they are or what they're there for. The scariest part of this run so far well, this raid so far is that we haven't seen any aliens. We have no idea who's running the space. Um, if they're ethereals, then well, fuck. Ethereals have very powerful mind control, or well, psi abilities in general, and they're not fun to fight against. And if that's the case, I honestly might just load the game and go to the other base because I am I am getting kind of tired of side attacks. Well, it's not ethereals, at least it's the snake man. <laughs> He's biting my tank. That's cute. Tanks can't turn into zombies, silly. one there in the shadows. We can't really see. And apparently I have real trouble shooting. Didn't we just shoot him twice? How is he not dead, dude? Unless it's a chrysalid. Is it a chrysalid? Holy shit, it's a chrysalid. Okay, well... Um, okay. One down, all right. Um, kill the chrysalid. Oh my God.
Okay, now we really need to kill the chrysalid. <laughs> I'm gonna get my guys to sprint forward until they see him and then just shoot him. Uh, can you snap and walk? No. So just... Uh, snap anyway. Never mind. Sprint. Shoot. Excellent. I'm really sorry about that guy. He might die now. It's our dear friend the snake man. Come to suck our blood. Wait, I should probably start mind probing people. Take that away. Use my probe on snake man. Soldier, perfect. Shoot him. Oh, so one other thing that my probe is kind of interesting is you see their stats. So you can find out. I mean, most of them aren't that useful, but you can find out their firing accuracy, their reactions. Um, I think those are really the most. Two useful things you can find out from the stats grid about aliens. Or specific aliens, I guess. Please shoot him. Oh god, okay, the tank will try. Well, oh, okay. Oh god. There's some pissed off people shooting at their tank. I'm very worried about that chrysalid. I'm very worried about the second chrysalid as well. Fortunately, it looks like we're okay. But uh, who's shooting you, my friend? You have no idea. That is not a good answer. Okay, there we go. Doesn't take any damage, which is good. So we're just going to slowly advance on the sides. Oh, that's where the chrysalid was, right? Okay. This guy should be pretty hurt. Perfect. I don't really want to move forward then. And in fact, I don't want them very far forward at all. With chrysalids around. And you need to shoot shoot the floor so that your gun recenters. Because the gun is where his vision comes from, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna just keep two people looking at this entrance in case something comes out. But otherwise, I want to mostly focus on the control room. Um, let's mind probe this guy, make sure he's not a commander, soldier, perfect. Usually the people who are coming out at the start are just soldiers. So there's nothing special about them. Given how important this is, I don't want to get it wrong. I just want to double check if I can afford to. Chrysalids, as far as I know, don't have ranks, so we can't capture one of those. Um, well, we can't use them the way we need to, at least. Uh, the tank might as well start shooting, to be honest. Okay, so the tank is still being shot at, weirdly enough. Who have you found? 
Nobody. You have found nobody. Perfect. Excellent. Let's look that way. And... Who's that? Is it a commander? Please say no. I want to shoot him. Soldier. Excellent. Hello. Mm, okay. Bye. Hello. And sprint away. Oh god. One more mind probe left on this turn. Leader, it's not a commander, we can shoot him. There's a guy behind him. Who <laughs> maybe we can't shoot. I don't want to risk the crossfire, so I'll just back off for now. Yeah, that's good. Just sit there. We really need a second mind probe for this sort of thing. Uh, uh, okay. Um. Okay. Well. Mm. Who are you? You're a soldier. All right. You throw it to your friend over there. He can do it. The guy holding the blaster is an engineer, okay. And then if you throw it to your friend at the end... Uh, then they... can do it too. Uh, who's... Uh, this guy. Commander. Okay, so we don't want to kill that guy. I want to stun him. Which is real hard to do when he's standing next to a guy with a blaster. So I'm going to send in the tank. Who I'm less worried about getting hit. And this guy's going to try and run away real fast. Oh, perfect. He shot his friend. That makes my job very easy. Oh, that is actually excellent. Let's shoot this guy. And then just back off. Try not to die on the way there. Uh, we'll try and shoot this guy through the window. So he doesn't shoot our friend. Two of them. That's that's dandy. And we didn't kill him. That's that's great. That it really is great. Run away. Uh, face the other way in case the commander comes out. All these guys on the left, I can shoot. No line of fire. You have a stun rod. You do. Okay. If that is the commander, then we are about to accomplish our mission. It is. Okay. It's not an easy shot to make. Evidence by the fact that he missed all of the shots. Alright. <laughs> he didn't... He didn't get stunned. That is very bad for this guy. Uh, what we're gonna do is stick the tank there and hopefully they shoot the tank. And we can't afford the tank to shoot back. 
unfortunately I have to shoot the arrow. So that my tank doesn't have enough time units to shoot. And we'll try and shoot some of these guys through the window. Who do you see? What the fuck? You see both of them, but you can only shoot the middle guy? Are you serious? Oh, whatever. Who else has a stun rod? If that guy doesn't make it, we're gonna need to send in this guy. Waste of time units so you don't accidentally shoot our friend. Friend. Oh my god. They killed their own commander. Almost definitely. Holy shit, they are retarded. Yeah, he was this guy or this guy, probably the second guy. The guy that made it outside. Wait, no, he's probably the guy who didn't make it outside. Oh my god. We went to all that trouble. And the aliens of all people fucked it up. Oh. Casually a blaster on the ground. The last... Aliens are not within that control area. Means you have to hunt them down. Wherever else they might be. Well, we found one. Hello. Hi. Is there still one around here? No. Is there someone here who woke up? No. So this is our friend, the Snakeman Commander, who didn't have a fun time. Hello. And that's it. So that was a waste of time. Um. <laughs> What we're gonna do is go straight back to alien base number two.